Hello. I wanted to take a little bit of your time this morning to talk to you about the new version of uh, One CNC XR5 version 30.86 as it pertains to the job sheet. Let's take a look at the job sheet and see what uh, One CNC has done in version 30.86. If you uh, look at the save PDF dialog box, it'll take you to the PDF directory and you can actually save that uh, one CNC job sheet so you have it for reference uh, for future uh, running of that job. What I did, if you look at the, the first uh, uh, folder here, you've got a name there it says 0061 slots T-Rex 450. The 0061 is actually my program number. I was able to make these folders by utilizing this create new folder icon and I made one for this particular file. Let's take a look. Okay if you look at this instead of just having the one job sheet PDF file um, by renaming the uh, various uh, items you have and uh, saving them as a PDF file, you can put them in this folder. Uh, let's look at the f uh, version 3085 PDF. This was prior to 1CNC doing their magic. As you can see in this particular one, they had some issues with the uh, alignment of the uh, the fields and word wrap and there was also uh, deleting text uh, instead of uh, wrapping it properly and also there was a, uh, issues with alignment between say the program number uh, which is 0061 being in alignment with this and also uh, in the group notes uh, the word wrap was not working in that properly and and then of course it truncated some of the other items. Okay, let's take a look now at the, the new version 3086. Okay, if you look at this one, now when you have the file name, it does the word wrap, no, uh, it doesn't uh, truncate any of the uh, text, what have you. The program number lines up, uh, the group notes, it properly displays all your group notes and puts all your tool summary in there, the number of tool operations and uh, basically does everything perfectly. Let's take a look at uh, some other options you have here in the PDF directory. If you have uh, any items um, that you would like to uh, include in your uh, job sheet, you can uh, take a program such as uh, Microsoft Word and you could uh, uh, generate notes. This is an example. Type this in and you would have it available to you in your PDF directory. Um, you can also uh, print it by using this uh, print command if you wanted to print any of the information you, you have stored here as a PDF file. If you look at this sample PDF, it gives you an idea and I've type some instructions in here so you get an idea of how to use it. But um, here's some, some samples. Like this area here is all text and then in uh, Microsoft Word I, I imported a picture into there. And this happened to be a picture of this particular project that I was working on. So it, it shows you the, the fixturing and uh, what have you and how the 
the uh, stock is mounted in the vices. And if you look at this one, this picture's been resized. It was actually larger. So you can actually resize the pictures, do whatever you want. Okay, that's sample number one. Uh, here's another sample. This one here shows how the items were cut, actually put the slots in them, that type of thing. And this uh, shows it at the original size. Of course, you could resize that too if you wanted to. Just giving you some options of what could be done. Uh, also in Microsoft Word, if you had other information you wanted to put in there, you can create tables, that type of thing, and those are within the Word document. Also, if you're using, a, like Windows 7, they have what they call a snipping tool. And uh, on the snipping tool, you can tell it to save it as a JPEG. And once it's saved as a JPEG, you can convert that to a uh, PDF file. Another example, if uh, you were working in uh, Microsoft Word and you, you wanted to do an invoice for the particular job you were working on, you could actually do that in uh, Microsoft Word and then do a save as and save it as a, a PDF file and then save it to the directory where your uh, project is. You can actually save your documents in Word in two different ways. You could save it as a, uh, a Word type document into the PDF directory. And then you can also save it to the PDF directory as a PDF file. If you save them as Word files, which you should do, then you can actually open them up uh, from your computer by accessing the PDF directory file and it would open up as a Word document. Then you can also, like I say, save that Word document as a PDF and that way it would be viewable from your one CNC program. So you can see by uh, being able to save different uh, items, whether it be tables, invoices, pictures, that type of thing, as it pertains to your um, particular project, you can save them all in one place and be able to um, access them. As I mentioned before, you can always go to your computer, local disk, disk drive C, one CNC XR5, mill professional, and go to your PDF folder. And then if you go to the, the other folder you created for the project. Now if you look in this, you can see that you've got all your PDF files listed there, but you can also access your um, Microsoft Word documents. And if you tell that to open, of course, it opens it up with Microsoft Word. And if you ever wanted to make any changes to this, you can uh, call this up, make any additions you want, and then you can do a, uh, a save, a save and save it back where it was. You can also do a save as and save it as the, the new uh, PDF file, if that's what you were going to use it for. Okay, uh, let's go back and take another look at the job sheet. You've got different dialog boxes here. Uh, the first one is a view PDF, and uh, currently, uh, the way 1CNC has this set up, it uh, actually views the the PDF of the job sheet, which is entirely correct. Um, one thing they may want to consider at a later date, uh, if they look at this uh, video, is uh, possibly allowing it to uh, open up uh, another sub uh, dialog box that allow you to open up various PDFs. You can open up the, the job sheet and view it, or if you want to view other PDFs that were in the, your individual directory, that you could do that. Just some thoughts. Maybe it's a good idea, maybe it isn't. Uh, likewise with the printing, 
Uh, currently it allows you, whenever you press the, the print button, it prints the one CNC job sheet, which is what it's supposed to do. But uh, if they decide they want to add more functionality to it, they could, uh, when you press that print um, uh, dialog box, that uh, you may get some options there to, to print other items and not just the, the um, job sheet itself. Currently, if you wanted to print uh, these other items, if you open those up and say like if you wanted to print this, if you right clicked on it and went up here to print, you can currently print it. So it's not the end of the world. One additional thing I would like one CNC support team to address if possible is the word wrap feature in the uh, NC processing notes dialog box. As you can see here if you have uh, you have word wrap and it like I say it works perfectly in the um, view PDF and also in the printing but whenever you're trying to look at it here in the dialog box you can't see the uh, uh, the whole sentence and you have to scroll back and forth to either to uh, to view it in here or to edit it so uh, if they could put word wrap in this particular box that would be a, a big plus and I thank you for your consideration